a bit of red gold here. I don't know, maybe about 25 pounds or so. Yeah, I would say each bucket's worth maybe about 80 bucks. That's a lot of smashing. But, uh, this is where the warehouse actually comes in really handy. It's because gasoline prices are like, they just keep going up. I thought these were actually brass, but they're steel. Well, they look like it anyway. I've been digging out this barrel now, too. Some of these are pretty much all aluminum. Like this one, I don't know. I'm not sure about it. It doesn't feel very heavy, though. Now, this one feels like a tank. It could be, it could be aluminum. So I just switch on the the grinding wheel right here. solid brass that sucker is heavy so I'll take the saws on and cut those hoses off and this this top right here it's probably aluminum zinc you know cast during uh, smashing all of these I noticed like wow faucets are made like really uh really made well, even the cheap ones. I can't tell right now. Let's shut this machine down. Put it in some better light. Oh no, that's brass too. Wow. So all I have to do to this piece is cut those hoses off. This whole darn thing is brass. So I'll just put this in the vise right here and cut them hoses off with the saws off. One, I'm we're still kind of snowed in here, and two, the gas prices are really high, so uh yeah, I want to go around scrapping, but the problem is uh, the price for scrap is actually pretty low. One yard is $155 a ton, and, and the other yard is $190, but they pay by check. So, <clears throat> that that's where this place actually comes in handy. It's like a... When the scraps start getting kind of thin out there, what do I got in here? Flosses. One of these lamps that I can smash up because it's brass. Well, this is the whole brass part right here. We're getting closer to March, and you know, things will start picking up probably. You know, when, when the weather breaks. The yard I take these to, you don't got to pull that cap off there. They take them like that. They buy it as clean brass. So. Uh, 
<clears throat> I've always wondered, like, actually, how many dollars worth of material is actually in here. That's a that's a horrible way to like run, like if, if it was like a legit business, not knowing your inventory. Oh, what a mess in there, huh? I'm just concentrating on the brass. But one of these days, I'm gonna clean the top of this off and make it all party. Yeah, this this vice is still broken. You gotta like when you go and crank the handle, you gotta pull on it to. I made it wider than I needed to. That'll work. Just like that. So for to get that yard to buy it and it's clean, basically all I need to do is just this. There, clean, enough. <laughs> I already scraped it so they can't give me any kind of like dilly den deli uh, tantrum. Wow. This is a good I don't know seven, eight pounds easily. Just that one piece. Got that there. I got the faucet over there. The valve, or whatever you call it. Now that's aluminum. I thought that was brass. But I could tell by the, by the weight. Little bits of copper. I'll put that up in there. I'm going to hit it sideways. There you go. Well, that's a brass piece that's on there, and the rest is copper. Well, I'm going to put it in the number two copper bin, because they'll buy it that way. The yard I go to. I swear I have like hundreds of faucets. That's actually copper. This is actually brass. That looks like brass. Well, we're not sure, and the scrapyard probably won't be sure. So let's scrape this. Uh, no, that's actually copper. Hmm. How about that? smash up that I don't know is this brass or is that copper that is definitely copper 
And uh, hey, next video, maybe we'll be doing the same thing. I don't know. See you later. You.